Good day everyone! For this video, I'll be sharing with you how to access the PNPKI certification or course which is being offered in our um, learning management system of the Department of Education or LMS. And as well as, I'll be sharing with you how to download and upload the PNPKI form in that platform. First step, of course, we need to open a browser so in my case i'll be opening a google chrome browser you may also use your firefox or whatever browser that you have in your laptop kung nandito na tayo in our browser ita type in na natin yung website of the lms so for us region 9 um we have r9.lms.deped.gov.ph and then enter the moment you enter the website of the LMS, you are in the right track if you gonna see in your screen ito. This one. Welcome to the new era of learning, Department of Education Learning Management System or LMS. So from here, it type in natin yung username natin. So I'll be using my colleague's username because I already accessed um, the PNPKI using my email, my DepEd email. So, dito gagamit lang tayo ng DepEd email natin which was provided by the um, Division ITO. So, here, I'll be typing in the email. If you gonna ask ano yung password, same pa rin kung anong password niyo sa DepEd email niyo, yun pa rin yung password that you need to type in here. Kung hindi natin ilalag in ha, don't click this one, don't click this button. Ang i-click natin is DepEd Commons Teachers. Upon clicking dun sa DepEd Commons Teachers, this is what you gonna see in your screen. You can read there na continue with, the, with account, Google account, then continue with Microsoft account or continue with Commons account. So, come here, you gonna click ito. Continue with Google account. Dapat, ito na yung makikita ninyo sa screen. So, this is your dashboard in your LMS. And then, from here, i-click natin. So, nasa dashboard kayo, we will gonna click this one, the site home part. So, here, um, we could see may mga categories dyan, course categories, but for the PNPKI, we will access it through here. Click the professional development. So, dito, makikita na natin yung courses being offered. Here, this one, ito yung kailangan natin eh. Then, click access. So, in order to access the this one, the course, we need the enrollment key. So, enrollment key, alam to ng mga ICT coordinators, you need to ask it from them. If you already know what's your enrollment key, type it in here. And then, kung na-type nyo na, after it, you need to click enrollment. Andito na tayo sa course, you are already enrolled. Now, ano nga ba ida-download yung form? As you can see, may download form here. Just click it here. And then there. My PNPKI application form na tayo. So, from here, kailangan i-open natin yung file, yung PDF file to, nito, dun sa PDF reader. Huwag natin i-open dito i-open dito sa browser. Ganito kasi yung PN, um, PKI form. Huwag natin i-open dito kasi hindi natin ma-upload yung photo. Hindi natin ma-upload dito yung photo. So, saan tayo pupunta? Um, kailangan pumunta tayo sa download. Hindi natin pwede i-click lang kaagad yung form because this will lead us to opening it with another browser. So, we need to do is um, open it with the PDF reader. And this will bring us here. Dito na. 
So, dito, makikita ninyo may mga red boxes and then the picture. And from here, paano natin i-fix yung photo natin? Kailangan nyo lang i-click itong picture. Ito, ililid, then browse. Then, for my case, I will click here yung picture ko na ginawa ko. For example, this one. So, nandiyan na yung picture. And then, take note guys, one of the instructions, especially number one, please fill in or fill the form in black letters. And how are we going to fill the black letters? Kailangan capital letters lahat. So, all you have to do is to click the caps lock of your laptop. And another thing in filling in this form, lahat lang ng mga red boxes, yun lang ang ipifill in natin na information. For example, itong family, the uh, last name. So, yan, ipifill natin yung last name. Ilalagay natin dyan. Then, first name, middle name, and then here, name extension. So, this name extension are for those individual who have junior, senior, or the third, or whatever um, name extension that they have. So, for us na same Sa akin, we don't have the name extension. Ang ilalagay lang natin is NA. Wait, dito. NA or not applicable. And then for the gender, we will just click here. If you are male, click it for male. Kung female, click it female. And then nationality, date of birth. Here, ang kailangan talaga lang is yung teen number natin. And then, Yung SS, GSIS, PhilHealth, down dito, um, hindi na natin yan kailangan i-fill in. We don't need to put our SS number, GSIS number, PhilHealth, pag-ibig, and even the um, CRM. Dito naman, for organization, agency, or company, ang ilalagay lang natin is yung school saan tayo assign. So, in my case, Panigayan Elementary School. Then, for this organizational unit, ang ilalagay natin is DepEd, Region 9, then yung Division, Isabella. For the marital status, hindi na yan kailangan. Again, ang i-fill in natin ay yung may um, red boxes lang. So, dito kailangan din yan. Ito, unit, house number, street, barangay, municipality, province, zip code, kailangan yan. For landline, you don't need to fill in because naka-black naman yan siya. And not all of us have that telephone. Then, mobile number, ito importante to. So, all of us, we have the cell phone, so kailangan yan. Then, email address. Email address, um, this is for your DepEd email. DepEd email. And then, alternative email address. Kung mayroon kayong yung Gmail, you can use that one. Or Yahoo, pwede nyo yun gamitin. If walang alternate na email address, kung wala talaga, so, so just put na lang din yung DepEd email. Then, going down, office address. Hindi nyo na din yan kailangan i-fill in. No need na. Then, dito na tayo. Date. So, halimbawa, for ngayon nyo yun na fill in. So, ilalagay natin 08-24-2021. Then, place Isabella City. Then, name of the applicant. For example, it's mine. Angeline L. Ramos. Then, dito, kailangan na natin i-affix yung e-signature natin. So, ang gagawin natin ay i-click lang natin to. And then, same lang sa ginawa natin sa picture. Then, isig, then, there. Nandiyan na yung e-signature natin. And then, meron pa yan kailangan natin i-fill in sa baba. There is still one e-signature that we need to affix. Ito. So, again, click lang to. And then, browse. Then, open. And then, there. You already have your e-signature. Again, dalawang beses natin i-affix yung e-signature. And then, after nyo i-fill in lahat ng information na needed for this form, we need to change it ang file name. Ang gagawin natin is go to file, then save as. So, halimbawa, kung gusto nyo ilagay dito sa desktop. So, family name first. Kung ako, Ramos Angeline. And then, Underscore your region. Ours is region 9. 
Then the division Isabella City. Then save. There. Meron na. Dapat ha, kompleto yung yung information niyo dun sa mga may red boxes. Then balik na tayo dun sa browser natin para ma-upload naman natin yung yung form. So nakita niyo dito, dapat check na yan kung na-download yung file. Okay? So we will go here sa Activities Isabella City. Click yun yun lang yun. So tingnan niyo na download na, check na siya. And then we will move to the PNPK I questionnaire. So dito i-attempt natin yung quiz. Okay. So for here, kailangan lang natin yan if we fill in lahat ng information na needed na makikita din naman natin dun sa sa form. This is to validate lang kung tama ba yung information na nilagay natin dun. So, if you are done with this, in the next page nyo lang yan siya. Then, may mga question pa rin yun siya dun regarding sa sa information na nilagay natin sa form. Kung tapos na kayo, in the next pa rin. Then, kung tapos na, isubmit nyo na lang yung quiz. Submit quiz. Tapos, ganito na siya. And then, in the next nyo, yung upload PNPKI form. Dito. So, eto, na-upload ko na yung form ko. So, yung kailangan lang is may makita kayo dito na parang ano siya, 